I think following the recent uh, xenophobic attacks against Somali owned shops and shops owned by other foreign nationals, I think there are several myths that are out there that need to be dispelled. And I think in their place, um, this should be displaced by evidence based uh, narratives. I think one very dangerous narrative that we have seen out there is that um, foreign nationals steal South African jobs. That is one thing. Um, the other myth that we've seen uh, being uh, propagated out there is that foreign nationals uh, dominate the informal sector. I think this is not true. Um, there is uh, some pieces of research out there that actually seem to suggest quite strongly, at least in Kauteng, that in the informal sector, less than two in ten people are people who could be considered international migrants, that is people who actually came to South Africa from other countries. Uh, the rest are either uh, people who were, go, you know, were born in Gauteng or people who moved to Gauteng uh, from, from other uh, parts of, of the country. So I think the reality is that uh, in this informal sector, the dominating um, people are actually not foreign nationals. Um, there's also this myth that foreign nationals steal South African jobs. And the evidence, you know, if you look at the labor for surveys, the data from um, a Statistics South Africa, it actually suggests that the huge majority of people who are employed are in actual fact South Africans. In actual fact, what, are, what you can see is that um, if in terms of unemployment rates, you actually you find that um, non-nationals, people from other parts of, 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 of the African continent, uh, their unemployment rates are low, but this does not suggest that uh, there are more of them who are employed. Um, non-nationals tend to take unstable jobs. They tend to take those jobs that in most cases South Africans do not want. This could explain their higher unemployment rates among these non-nationals. I think um, you know, South Africa can show real, real leadership on the African continent uh, by creating spaces um, where foreign nationals and South Africans can interact, can engage as to their hopes, aspirations about why they come to South Africa, for instance. But I think there is also a place where South Africa can show real leadership by putting in place progressive immigration policies. What is happening in South Africa at the moment in terms of xenophobia is nothing unusual. It seems to be um, quite aligned to some of the patterns we have seen, for instance, in the United States, for instance, uh, among conservative elements in Europe. So the trends are the same. But the real issue is that we need progressive policies in place. And history indeed shows that when you've got progressive immigration policies, you benefit. Look at the huge waves of migration uh, into the US, for instance, in the past century, and how these have, in actual fact, propelled economic growth. They've also led to, to really what you could call a rainbow nation that is envisioned, for instance, in the case of South Africa. We've got different people in the US. It's vibrant, a vibrant mix of, of, of cultures. So I think uh, it's what we can learn from some of these areas, that we need each other, that we can learn it from each other, and that actually to drive economic development into where you know into, into the future, you need uh, people from different parts of the world. We can learn from each other. We can bring different skills. We can empower each other. There can be cross pollination of ideas, and I think it's really exciting when you live in a country like that. And I think I hope that um, key stakeholders, government activists, community leaders, can conscientize people about the reality. Of, of immigration. And I think uh, in the place of these narratives where we see there's prejudice uh, towards people from different parts of the world, of Africa, I hope that in their play, in place of these narratives, you will have now evidence-based solutions, you have evidence-based narratives, and you've got evidence-based immigration policy. I'm not suggesting uh, that there should be free reign for all. I think immigration needs to be managed, but it needs to be managed in a progressive manner. Uh, it needs to be managed in a just manner. And obviously, it needs to be managed in a way that benefits South Africa in the long term.